Grace Harbor College against Southeastern Missouri State University, a.k.a. SEMO. Shot off the backboard, EMS is going to save that one. Ghost is in, tucking it in the corner for a seven second lead. Yeah, this was a great shot by Ghost because it was a really good read off the other team. And he was able to just hit it right past the defenders right into the goal. So now it's one to zero. Pickoff falls on the choker half. EMS gets it out over, but Ghost is going to punk that one back over to the right-hand side. EMS is there to pick it up. Choker's scrambling to get it out of their half. Applin for Simo, picking that one up high. Got Kyle going to try to make some work out of it. EMS pinging it back around. Simo looking for a way through this Choker defense. AJ kicking it out wide. Shadow is there. Takes it down, and now Chokers are converting on offense, tapped away at the net. Demo coming in as EMS is going to take Ghost out. Shadow bringing it back up and around, doing that pass. I, Abby, how did that go in? Um, pretty easily with Shadow, knowing them. So it was very difficult, though, because there's two defenders blocking the goal, but Somehow, Shadow was able to get it in at just the right angle. So now it's 2-0. to zero. Missed touch there. Own goal. So unfortunate. Oh, but EMS is going to get that one right back. Taking a point for Yeah, these plays are very um, unpredictable. You can get a goal in the first couple seconds, or it can take a few minutes. As we lose. But that was a good shot by EMS. Now it's 2-1. to one. Last week's game against, uh, I believe it was Ohio Northern University, might have actually been the week before. I think, I think this game we're playing right now is a makeup from last week. Uh, was some of the most clinical play I've seen out of our chokers to date. This doesn't seem as clinical. I would say coming in from both sides. The ball is is really kind of being left alone. Nobody is uh, nobody is, is really nailing down the midfield. I'm seeing some decent defense. A little scrambly, but pretty decent on both sides. But the midfield is is a bit of a of a wide open zone. I I really think whatever team gets control of the midfield. Maintains possession through the midfield and then converts on it. It's going to be the one that's going to win this first series. Ooh, double commit coming in from Simo. No punishment from the chokers. Ghost up, picking that one back around. Another double commit coming in. KJ, last player back. Sends it off to the side, but not a favorable 50. Not dangerous territory yet, but not what I would call favorable. All three chokers in the air. Shadow is back and can't get that save. Equalizer coming in from Applin. That was a good shot by Applin. They read what EMS was doing. EMS set it up for Applin by keeping the ball in the air and away from the chokers. And Applin came in right in between them and just hit it right over GHC's defender's head. And that's 2-2 two two with two minutes from Applin. Just past halftime, EMS picking it up. A little bit of uh, first play there, going in, in backwards. Ball kicked out high. Joker defense. AJ kicks that one out mid. Crack Kyle there to intercept. Shadow trying to get around two defenders up over the sidewall. Pass out to Ghost. Doesn't connect. Shadow pulling the back end. Love to see that passing play. Nice to see uh, KJ, the third, getting involved in that. Shadow can't get the block, but KJ and Ghost both going in for it. Opportunity to punish the chokers here. Nemo taking it slow. Pass over to EMS. Going to get it in top center. Nemo picking up the lead. Yeah, this was a good read by um, EMS. 
because he saw they saw that their teammate was setting it up for them and they had a straight shot right to the goal. So now it's two to three with Timo in the lead. EMS leaving it for Applin. Carrying that one across the back wall. KJ is there, but the ball goes the wrong direction. An own goal is so unfortunate. He puts Timo up by two. Yeah, this was a good shot by Applin because they managed to get the ball below KJ, who then tapped it toward the Chokers goal. And from there, it was basically an automatic goal. So now it's two to four for receiver leading. Dangerous ball here over the net. Just 90 seconds left for the Chokers to make up two points. Still doable. Simo's going to eliminate KJ. Ghost looking deadly there. Doesn't connect. KJ, third player back, kicking that ball up wide. Pass over to Ghost. Ghost with the redirect. Doesn't quite get it, but we got two Chokers there in the corner. Pass coming out, bouncing out just a little too far. You get the feeling from that shot. The chokers were looking for a little bit closer. The shot, Shadow Sting on this one, working their way in, a third of that 90 seconds is gone, no goal to show for it, Chokers need to make up this two point deficit, they're going to take, stay in game one, double tap coming in from Applin, hitting it down, it wasn't fast, but it was effective. Yeah, I think we're seeing a lot of good plays out of Applin specifically. They're a more aggressive player, and they're able to make these more difficult goals at weird angles, or even in the air they can make a goal like they just did. And that's two to five. Timo picking up the pace. Taking advantage of the Chokers feeling the pressure. 30 seconds left now to make up three points. The workload is getting bigger for the Chokers. 50, looking pretty promising. KJ bringing in, putting the pressure on. Not seeing a lot of opportunities, but just like that, there's one, Ghost is gonna find a way. Yeah, this was a great shot by Ghost. They read the opponent, Simo's uh, passes, and they took the pass from Applin and just Straight shot at it right into the goal. So now it's three to five with 15. Goal is in second. That is a call order. Ghost kicks it downfield. Applin brings that one down, controls it, sends it back. KJ, last player back. Two seconds to go. And it looks like Simo is going to take the lead. Clinch game number one. Nine shots coming in for Simo. Nine shots coming in for Grays Harbor. Pretty big score differential there in the individuals. And you're looking at EMS and Applin. And I think the main difference is those saves. Kick off up high. Applin putting a shot on net. KJ there, locking down the back end. Crack Kyle sending it out mid. Shadow's got a read on that, sends it down. Applin picking up a save there. Nice little uh, wave dash, or nice drift control coming in. Goes to the back pass to Shadow. It's up over Kyle, but gets the defense anyway. Shadow sends it out wide. Ghost is going to retreat on that one. Picking up the defense and the boost for his troubles. Applin bringing it back down. Backboard shot so deadly, but Shadow's got the number on that. And the second save as well. Shadow picking up a bicycle for that one. KJ, now his turn to work the ball out of mid. Pressure from Simo keeping it in the choker half. A little help from Applin gets it down to an empty end, but with no boost in the tank, Shadow's gonna have a hard time getting that one in. But a pass to Ghost will connect. Nice one, two, dish him up, choker's in the lead. Yeah, this was a good um, teamwork by Greatest Harbor because Shadow bounced off the wall past Applin and then Ghost saw that pass, took advantage of it, and just right down on the second. One to zero with four minutes left. Applin kicks it out mid. Kyle gone down into the corner. 
Follow-up touch going for the net shot. KJ doesn't get the touch. And EMS picks up the goal for that one. But that whole play has cracked Kyle's name written all over it. Yeah, this was a good setup by Kyle. He saw an opportunity to get it past multiple Grace Harbor defenders. And EMS took advantage of that and just capped it in at the angle that they needed. So that's one to one. Shadow kicking it downfield. Ghost looks for that opportunity. EMS getting it around. Ghost over to Shadow. Crack Kyle with the block. Ghost is trying to intercept, but that shot is on net. AJ can't get there in time. Applin picking up a, a goal, number two for Simo. Yeah, this was a good play by Applin. They saw that Grace Harbor weren't wasn't blocking their goal very well, and Ghost almost blocked the pass, but he was a second too late, and so now it's one to two. Double commit coming in from Grace Harbor. Joker's looking a little timid. Exception from Ghost, kicks it down the mid. EMS is pushing up daisies and KJ is pushing up field with that ball. EMS brings it down, Shadow with the read. Back in net to make a second save if necessary. KJ whips or fakes, we'll never know the truth. Demo making room as Ghost takes out Kyle. Choker's still not able to get the ball into the back of the net. KJ gets the read on that one. Defense from Timo holding up under the pressure from the Choker squad. Ghost sneaking on that ball. Not letting Simo get it by him. Excellent 50s. Simo knows when to challenge. And they're doing just a great job of not giving Grace Harbor the room move with that ball. Applin there with a soft touch off the backboard. Might be an opportunity. A whiff comes in and that opportunity will be capitalized on as Ghost is going to be the first one in that race with the ball. Yeah, this was a great setup by Ghost. They popped the ball right at the goal and you could see Shadow and Ghost both go there, since it only needed a little tap to go in. That's two to two with two minutes left. Welcome back to the stream, Murderator. Sorry about the blackness. I think we are having some uh, some internet connectivity issues giving you that black screen. I think we can get those ironed out for next time. Pass out to mid from Ghost, or is that a shot? Oh my goodness, oh my stars! Off the back end, that is just tragic. Stokers with a great play. Some of the smartest setup I've seen from them so far this screen. Got up to the block, KJ rotating back for the defense. Minute and a half left. Shadow's sticking on this, but Applin times it just right to get it around him. Looking for that defense. Getting bodied by Shadow. Over KJ. That Kyle can't follow anymore. Shadow fishing this one out of the corner. 50 against two opponents. And it looks like a little bit of nose-to-nose -nose pressure coming in. Not quite a rule one. Ghost gets it past one. One last to beat. Applin's going to slow the play down. 50 from Ghost. Choker's still shooting for a, a shot at that net. They want that next goal. No longer timid. They're pushing up. Nice save from Shadow. Now the rules are reversed as Simo putting the pressure on the Chokers. Nice clear from Ghost, kicks it downfield. He retreats with the boost. Pass out to Shadow. Can't quite connect. KJ is up. We've got Ghost in the back. Missing that. Shadow's going to rotate back in time. Nice clean half rotations coming in from Shadow. Shadow always doing a great job putting his team in ever improving. Circle. Oh! Ghost almost slips that one underneath. What a save coming in from Simo. Shadow plays with the right, slows it down, bodies it underneath, off the side. Sweet heavens, the defense from Stevo. Ghost able to save that last threatening shot. I think we are going to have our first overtime here in game two. Yeah, 
Thank you, Swervo, for pointing out the title. I'll get that thing. Title is now updated. If you refresh, you should see it. Ghost is going to tuck that one in. I guess all I needed to do was update the title, and then uh, Chokers are going to score. Ooh, gorgeous. Crack Kyle thinks the EMS has it. EMS thinks he's got it, but it goes right on by. Grace Harbor College. That was College. a great shot. Breaking back. Yeah. Eleven shots from Grace Harbor, and only eight coming in from Simo. But look at the goal! Look at the saves! Crack Kyle there pulling up five of those saves. Looks like Grace Harbor has rotated Reef in. AJ is out for a bit. EMS kicking it up wide. Grease gonna get the save. Shadow kicking it up. Kyle taking out Ghost. You know, I'll be honest, Abby, I would take out Ghost too. That man is a threat no matter where he's at on the field. It's Ooh, a very good nice shot, shot around. <laughs> yeah. EMS doesn't get the touch. Ghost is going to follow this one. Ooh, nice delayed hit on that. Doesn't connect, but great strategy. I like the mind games coming in from Ghost, including. You know, we saw, I think it was Shadow, twice last game, delaying his hit to bring the ball in underneath the Simo defender, which just seems like a really great strategy. You know, of course, if you do that too much, they come to expect it. Yeah, because Rocket League is a very fast-paced game, and by slowing down your hits, it's something that's almost unexpected. So naturally, you're going to think they're going to go at it fast to get a goal. So you're going to be at the goal and miss their shot that they slowed down. Some calls from chat for, uh, for Shadow to change his name to Justin Bieber. Um, I will get that form over to Shadow right away. Process the name change with the league. Ooh, Shadow, or Justin Bieber, making the save there last minute. I thought that one was going in for sure. Simo looking for a way to get this first goal on the board. Shadow bringing it up around, gets that ball out of the choker half. <laughs> EMS doing a head spin. Reese, last player back. Doesn't get the save. Crack Kyle effortlessly tips that one up and over. Reese didn't see you coming. Simo up by one. Yeah, this was a good read by Crack Kyle. They saw. Um, Grease passing it to Shadow, I believe, and he snatched the ball in transport, and now it's 0-1 with Simo in the lead. Shadow bringing it back, picking up the boost, converting onto offense, but Applin's got something to say about that. Kicking it out wide, Grease off the tail, doesn't get control of the ball, but enough to disrupt the play that was coming in from Simo. Nice pass up and over. Simo looking to rotate back on defense as Chokers take possession of the ball. Reese getting stuffed from Applin. Looks like both teams really deciding to slow down the pace of play a little bit. A lot more intentional touches. Like that touch from Ghost under Cracked Kyle. Man is dead as a can of Spam now. Three seconds later, of course, you know, respawn, but still. Dead as a can of Spam. Yes, I said that on purpose. Reese in the corner, doesn't have a play. Looking to get out ahead of the ball. Shadow coming in, brings it up over the top. Sent away by Applin. Ghost. Flipping that one, handing it over to Shadow. Up off the backboard, EMS missing the touch. This is an opportunity. Joker's still looking to capitalize. You don't get that first opportunity, you keep looking for him. Kyle 
Out to Shadow. Missing that pass. Applin picks it up, pops it over. Reese there with the receipt. Both teams giving the ball away a little bit. 90 seconds left for Chokers to make up that point. Tipping it up over one. Ghost almost making that connection. To seal the deal on that shot. Wide open net for the Chokers. Kyle's going to put it on target. And it's going to go in. 2-0. Emo in the lead. Yeah, this last play was... Well, this last round since the last goal was very back and forth. And overall, that was a great play by Crack Kyle. They saw an opportunity, and whenever you get one, you have to take it. So now it's 0-2 with Simo in the lead. Murderator in chat here with the bad jokes. Somebody needs to tell them that uh, I, I'm the only one that gets the bad jokes. This, this, you're, 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 you're on my turf now, pal. <laughs> You have chat pulled up, Abby? Yes, I do. Murder okay. Murderator just invited the banana by a muscle car. So you can peel out. out. Yeah, that's terrible. Murderator, you're terrible. 32 seconds left. Chokers need a couple points. Reese there sends the ball a little bit around to the side. Ooh. Chokers looking confused. Shadow working the way inside. Wide open net once again. EMS is going to see it, but send it off. Try to get the rebound. Doesn't quite connect. Good opportunity for Simo, but they don't need him. They're up by two. They can just waste time and clinch this game, too, putting them on match point. But Kyle's going to pick up that point. I don't know what he's going to do with that goal. He doesn't need it. But he's going to get it. It's a little extra cherry on top. Overall, great read by Crack Kyle, getting it in even after the clock hit zero. I, I got to say, I have some respect for Simo rocking the stock tane. Not titanium white. They're not uh, orange or blue, no sky blue. Uh, you know, no burnt sienna. They're just rocking the stock team. Yeah, not just in the air, but in the air with a purpose. Making some of those passes count. Mistouched by EMS, but given the space by Greece. Ghost, however, is going to punish. Getting in there. Ghost kicking it up and around. Good pressure from the chokers. See if it leads to something nice. Shoulder from Shadow. Looking to create those opportunities that turn into goals. Dangerous now for Simo, dumping it down wide, able to get it out of that situation. Simo looking very uncomfortable in the first 30 seconds of this game. Shadow sticking close to the ball, trying to eliminate Applin's, Applin's ability to get it out. Got Kyle, pass down mid, EMS too far away to make contact, but beginning of, of those casting plays for Simo, the blueprint for what they're thinking. And that thought could lead to more wins for Simo. Chokers need to neutralize those passing plays. Sooner, quicker challenges, better 50s. Oh, just sneaking it in. Ghost going to pick up the first goal with a minute and a half into this game. This was a good shot by Ghost. It was very risky, but overall it worked because he hit the corner just perfectly and it bounced off Applin right into the goal. So that's 1-0 to zero with 3 minutes and 40 seconds left. Out to Kyle. Pass coming into Applin. Shadow doing a great job of challenging that pass before it could become trouble. EMS returning the favor by cutting off that pass to Greece. Shadow's not done yet, picking that ball, keeping it at midfield. Applin gets it over, blocked by Greece, out to Ghost, no touch there. Shot off the backboard. Choker scramble, but pull in a good defense. Quick rotation, quick conversion onto defense. 
Means they're gonna escape trouble for now. Bump by Ghost, clearing the way. Choker's not quite ready to put on that shot. The physical plays make way for goals. Crack Kyle gets the ball across the net. Simo apparently didn't think that was going to happen. Didn't act on it. Would have been a good opportunity for them to get that equalizer. Oh, Bump coming in again. Wide open door for Shadow. He gets the goal for that. But that was all Ghost. 2-0. Oh, what yeah, a bump, are, Abby. <laughs> that was a great read by Shadow. He saw that Ghost had set it up. And all I needed to do was be bumped a little bit to the side. And so that's exactly what they did. And that's 2-0. Two it's 2 to a half minutes. Nice 50 from EMS there. Ghost scrambling to get possession of the ball. He gets it. Doesn't get the second touch. All three Simo in the corner. Looking like they're struggling a bit on boost management as well. Jokers might be starving them out. I'll have to keep a, a closer eye on that. 50's game still seems to be favoring Southeastern Missouri EMS. Killing Shadow. Sends him back to the garage to rebuild his car. Applin going to take that one. Ghost thinking about both Kyle and Applin. Holy smokes. I mean, I guess if, you, if you're having trouble beating them on 50s, beating them into the ground is another way to get around, but Applin going to pick up one off this gorgeous pass from Kyle. Yeah, that was a great read by Simo. Uh, Kyle passed it right where it needed to be, right dead center in the air, and Applin took that and just hit it right in, right before the race harbor could get to it. That's two to one. One point, minute and a half plus to make up for it. Simo definitely still has a, a chance to take home the series. But right now, Chokas are up by one. And they're in the Simo half. I need to put on that pressure. Simo, uh, EMS with the flex there, the flip reset. Nice pass out to Applin. Crossbar coming in as a hero for the chokers. Both chokers up, can't make the save. Oh, my goodness. Weed heaven. Yeah, that, was a... right, that was a great shot. I... He saw that Reese was right there about to hit it away, but he took advantage of it, and now it's 2-2 two to two with a minute and 10 seconds left. Kyle, taking it slow, looking for a way through. Applin patrolling that corner. Get the cherry pick a shot. More demos coming in. Ghost is on a warpath. Oh, wide open net. That's got to hurt. Track Kyle easily able to get, no, EMS, easily able to get that one in off a, it looks like a failed rotation, Grease pushing up, thought he had the, the touch before EMS did, but he was incorrect. Yeah, that, 26 seconds left down by great. one, go ahead. Yeah, Abby? Sorry, that was a great read off by Timo, that's exactly what they needed in the last 30 seconds. EMS not quite getting the insurance goal there. We're down to the last 10 seconds. And nearly the end of this game. Ball down on Simo's half. One defender there. And the Chokers regroup in time. Reese is gone. Kyle sends it up wide. Can a Choker get there in time? EMS keeping it alive. Reese on the back end goes up, dumps it out mid. Ghost pops it up high. Applin going to touch this one. He does, but lets it fall to the ground. And Simo is going to take it in three and four games. Simo taking home the series there.
Great game by Simo. Great... Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, Abby. This is a great strate strategy game from Simo because they took every opportunity that they were given and it really paid off. So that's why I ended three to two. Congrats to Southeastern Missouri State University. Victory here in week four. I believe it's their second for the season. GG, well played, Simo.